Okay, I call this stovetop anti-gravity. No, obviously it's not really anti-gravity, it's uh, diamagnetic levitation. I think you all know about uh, diamagnetic levitation using bismuth disks. Here we have one. So, you have to buy 99.99% .99 pure bismuth that averages $20 a pound. This is about a pound and a quarter. You can take it outside if you get a big hunk of it. Smash it with your hammer. Break off little pieces of it. Don't breathe the dust. Most bismuth is for lead sinkers and other applications and is alloyed with other metals. If you try to do this with anything other than pure bismuth, especially in your own kitchen, you're screwed. Don't do it. Anyway, here we have our little bismuth discs. Here you see we just use a regular propane burner. This was my pan. I actually used an Israeli gas mask while doing it even though I didn't have to. You can see I just used a three dollar stainless bowl with a pair of pliers. Now to hunk, to melt down a hunk of bismuth like this, which is one and a quarter pound roughly, took, takes about, now this would take longer, but a pound would take about five to seven minutes to pan your stovetop. You guys should see little sparkles on my hand there. It uh, flakes off. It's an uh, element heavier than lead. It is technically radioactive. It is the most diamagnetic metal on earth. It runs $20 a pound. You can get it on eBay. And type in uh, bismuth levitation. Here you go. Now I'll get you the interesting part here in a second. How do you make these? Well, look. Here we have soda bottle cans. You notice the shape of this? Perfect little shape. You make two of these, you stick your little tiny magnet in there and your magnet above there and make your diamagnetic levitation device. Right now these are cooling, but you can see the cooling bismuth takes about five to six minutes. Here's one that's cool right now. It's a soda pop can, okay? Now bismuth melts at 502.4 degrees. So here we're gonna pop out our bismuth disc. Ta-da! Stove top anti-gravity. No, it's not anti-gravity. You're using, making uh, super diamagnetic. Now this one's a lot thinner. I cast this a lot thinner because that's really all you need. Since this stuff's $20 a pound, I made four discs. I basically used a pound to make four discs, but this is a lot thicker than the one I just made. This is the only real thickness you need. You could grind this down outside. Don't do it inside because you're going to create dust. Melting it's one thing, grinding it's another. Don't want to breathe the dust. They only recently found out, I believe it was a few years ago, that bismuth is obviously the most uh, diamagnetic uh, metal on Earth, but it is also radioactive. It emits uh, alpha particles, uh, I have a helium nuclei, but its half-life is 20 billion billion. Not 20 billion, but 20 billion billion years, which means that the half-life of this stuff is about, I don't know what, 10 times older than the universe. So it is essentially non-radioactive although that is technically radioactive so anyway all I'm using is soda bottle cans to melt my bismuth in you can see them here cooling you want to wear a full pants and gloves and uh, so if you get any splatter on you now this is a regular stove it took me uh, six minutes to melt a pound of it I just used the three dollar basically disposable stainless bowl you can see the iridescent colors there of where it was melting out and uh, I opened the door and the window. Remember, do not even think of using anything to melt on the stovetop other than right at 100% pure bismuth because otherwise it's going to be alloyed with lead and tin and who knows what else. And you do not want to be sniffing any of those fumes, obviously. Although I've seen a lot of morons to do this without any mask on on YouTube and whatnot. And they're just complete morons. But anyway, just using the concave shape. You could reuse it over and over again. Bottom of your soda bottle cans makes perfect levitation bismuth discs. This stuff is really, really neat. You can see the iridescent uh, blue and purple colors of the bismuth. This is a full disc if you actually cast the full thickness. The only reason there's a bubble here is because I ran out on my first cook and I poured off part of it. Otherwise, this would be uniform, but this was one pour, one partial pour, then I finished it up with a full pour. Otherwise this would be perfect, so. I call it stovetop anti-gravity, but obviously it's just diamagnetic levitation, but it's a catchy title anyway. So, 
Um, six minutes cook time at full heat. What you want to do is hold it off at an angle, remove your burner, and hold it like this. And as it's cooking, you want to shake it a little bit like you're cooking your noodles. <laughs> wear gloves. Wear long sleeve shirt. Wear pants. Wear socks. I don't care how hot you are. It only takes six minutes. Remember, the melting temperature is 502.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, cools very, very quickly. $20 on eBay, roughly. Here it is. Here's the pure bismuth as it shipped to you. They'll send you either one large hunk. You can actually hear it dribbling into the garbage can below me because it's very flaky like a cracker. If you want to break off a piece, like if I just want this piece to cook, just take it outside and whack it with a hammer. It doesn't take much force and it'll just split and cleave. Leave little flaky bits. Gather them up if you can and stick them in your bowl to melt. But, uh... This is it. Um, I can't remember the name of the people I got it from, but if you buy like two pounds at a time, it's twenty dollars a pound. If you buy one pound at a time, now one pound will make you four uh, diamagnetic uh, bismuth levitation discs. So one, two, three, four of these equals one pound on a standard soda bottle can. So one pound will end up with two diamagnetic levitation devices. Obviously, you need two. You really only need one, but the really good diamagnetic levitation devices take two discs with your magnet above that needs to be adjusted for levitating your little square uh, cube magnet. So one pound will get you four full of these, which means two levitation devices. So or a total of $26 per pound, but if you buy more pounds, if you buy, I think it's like 30 pounds, you can go down to $16 per pound, but who needs 30 pounds of bismuth? Also, growing crystals... You know, that's a lot of fun, but it's more hazardous, and growing them right is actually an art form, art form in itself. So, um, all I was going to use was these bottles that I was going to throw in the trash can anyway. And I use a $4, $4 stainless pot from India that you can get at any dollar store, basically. And $20 of business. My total cost was $20 plus the cost of the magnets and the contraption and setting out for uh, making your diamagnetic levitation device. Anyway, I call that stovetop anti-gravity. Uh, obviously it's not anti-gravity, but it's a catchy little title. So, thanks for watching, and remember, do not dare think of cooking anything other than 100% pure or 99.95% pure bismuth on the stovetop. Don't do it. Don't. Obviously you're going to have fumes. Even I was wearing a gas mask when I was doing this. But it only takes six minutes. Doing it one time isn't going to kill anybody, or the cat or the dog. Thanks for watching.